I'm standing in the middle of an empty, pretty boring looking field. And you might think the only thing remarkable about it is this lovely old gnarled tree here and the nice way that the field sweeps down towards the river. But this is in fact a very important historical and special field. That mightn't help you either to remember it, but it might if you saw it when it looked like this. The road from Dublin to Slane is a very straight one, and it's said that it was done on the orders of this gentleman here, King George IV of England, who wanted to visit his mistress, Elizabeth Marchioness Cunningham, who lived up in Slane Castle. Well, the present owner of Slane Castle and a direct descendant of the Marchioness is Lord Henry Mount Charles, and he was the man responsible for bringing his satanic majesty, Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, over here to Slane Castle last summer. Well, Lord Henry, do you think that your ancestors would get an awful shock when they, were, when they knew that the stones were playing here in the castle? Uh, I think some of them might, but uh, the first Marchioness certainly wouldn't. I mean, if you have a look at the title of that cartoon, which is uh, a pitch in the hole uh, featuring George IV and her, I leave it to the imagination to suggest what it stands for, especially throwing money into the ground like that. <laughs> um, no, uh, certainly my father, who was brought up in a very different uh, way than I was, um, he said that he psychologically couldn't cope with actually being here for the concert, but he was very much behind the whole thing. It's lovely, no, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's good because it's got a slope, and so instead of it being flat, where it's really hard to see, you, now even if you're up here, you can see above the head. You don't have to climb on a ladder or someone's shoulder to see. It's like a dream. If you want to, if you want to draw out of sight, this would be what you would dream of using. This is magnificent. The castle, the surroundings, the fact that it's it's away from the city, from the cement atmosphere. Security was really the principal problem on the day of the concert. Uh, you can see, as you look around the field, there is um, about 25,000 pounds of special fencing that we had to erect. Uh, when you consider that the site itself is something in excess of 20 acres, that's a big problem. And it also required hundreds of people to actually um, police the area in addition to the actual fencing itself. Sanitation, well, you'll see there is one of those units uh, still in the field. We had those specially manufactured in the north of Ireland, and they're on articulated trailers. Um, and we were very pleased with those, although actually on the day we had a problem with water pressure, which we hope to get around this year because we will uh, link them up directly to the mains. On the estate I have all my own water supply and we will try and plug mains water direct into them to maintain the pressure. And do you think there's any sp special area that you will improve this year that... Uh, yes, I mean there are a lot of organizational problems. Every time we do another concert, um, we look not at where we went right, but where we went wrong. I mean, I already mentioned the question of uh, water pressure. We're going to try and have uh, um, better standing pipes, particularly if the weather is very hot, you have to have water freely available. And we did have security problems in certain areas, which I won't go into because I wouldn't want anyone to know whether security was weak. <laughs> The, the castle grounds are very close to the village. Our village is small and it's not really fit to cater for the numbers that come. Our biggest problems are the day or two before the concert. Uh, we, we tend to get a rougher element into the village those two particular nights. They came in their droves. Now, uh, you know, it's very hard to say, but I would say there were about 60 in my front garden here, at least. There were like sardines in it. One spends three days answering knocks on the door with um, 
people imploring you made they use your toilet, particularly of your sex? They made it as open as the Curra, as the Phoenix Park. They launched a toilet. That was the worst feature of the lot. There was no, absolutely no, nothing to help people, young girls especially, for toilet arrangements. There are problems, I have no doubt about that. But I think it's a, it's a splendid thing. I'm uh, very interested in uh, the activities of youth, and I think it's something that uh, the youth of Slane can enjoy, and there's not a whole lot going for them otherwise. And um, I'm all in favour of the concert. Now, my front garden here, just behind me, was at least 18 inches deep in bottles, broken bottles, papers, rubbish, dirt, everything. Jumped on my trees, and you see I have six big trees here in front, and they are top-heavy trees. They are not trees that would stand up to a lot. And they jumped on top of them, daring me. Now, I didn't dare come out. I had all my doors locked. But I mean, it was a terror, uh, a, a most frightening feeling. The policing has been excellent. As a matter of fact, probably uh, the mistake is that the policing is too good. If there was less policing, there'd be more damage done. And then we would have a stronger case. Uh, for, for against it. There is always, when you have um, 70,000 people gathered together, there are always going to be some people who uh, drink excessively. There are um, going to be um, people who will take drugs. But we have a very serious drug problem in this country. So when you have a gathering of that nature, it's bound to surface. Um, but everything has got to be seen in the right perspective. And I think considering the numbers of people uh, that were at the Stearns concert last year. The problems were really, on scale, really relatively small. I mean, if you go to a race meeting, you get people getting drunk and falling over and behaving in an outrageous fashion, but it doesn't make the headlines. But somehow, if you have a rock concert, everybody is looking for any minute detail that goes wrong, and maximum amount of mileage is made out of it. There's not much around for the young people of Ireland, and it's great to have something to go to once a year. Like, it's only once a year it's on. I agree. Um, Peter, how, how do you feel about that? Well, there's no activity around Slane. Like, at night, the guard might come up to you and tell you to go home. And, like, if there was something, if the hall there was um, open for something, at least once a week, you'll be all right. I mean, the first and most obvious thing is that it provided quite a lot of uh, uh, temporary employment, uh, not only before the concert, but after it. I mean, we employed um, a lot of the um, children in the area to uh, clear the litter. In addition to that, we also dispensed very, uh, as generously as we could, uh, a large number of complimentary tickets, so that it meant that people, um, kids in, in Slane, had an opportunity of seeing the stones, um, which, you know, was fair enough because right. I was bringing, them, uh, bringing the stones here and I wanted them to enjoy. Um, also, um, even though it is only a one-day concert, uh, in, a, in, a, in times when the economy is uh, bombed out. Um, it did inject a considerable amount of money into the local economy. Now, I'm not just talking about Slane, I'm talking about Drogheda and Nav and the tills were ringing all around. Do you without think putting too fine a point on it. <laughs> Do you think that the local community will have any say in the context of a gig that might come off this summer? Well, I, uh, I'm always prepared to listen to the local community. In fact, I have, a, on an ongoing basis, I have fairly detailed discussions with, for example, the Slane Community Council. Um, and I will probably be having a meeting with um, the chairperson of the Community Council this week. Um, I have uh, done a lot for the local community. Uh, they are, in fact, um, uh, conducting a, a, a referendum, seems to be the fashion in our, nowadays. Um, but they are doing it on a household basis, which uh, is a practice that hasn't been conducted in Ireland since the 19th century, to my knowledge. And uh, one vote per house is hardly representative of the people who are on the electoral franchise. We're supposed to have such ideal households that there is a consensus of opinion in the household. There is one vote per house, that's correct, yes. Uh, I think it's quite wrong myself. I would have much preferred to have had a vote for everybody who is on the electoral register. Well, the household vote is a household vote, and, and I, I, I'm not sure what, ten, what vote will exactly come out of the house. Um, being you a have, democracy, you have, younger, you have children. I have children, yes, yes. Well, I think myself should be the youth that had voted for it. Naturally, it's rock concerts for the youth and not the householders. 
Not we're old enough to vote for the government. Surely to God we're old enough to vote for our own rock concert. Of course, for rock fans, the most important question is who might be topping the bill at Slane this summer. Names like Bruce Springsteen, Pink Floyd, Dire Straits, and even David Bowie have been mentioned. Lots of names being mentioned. I, 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 I have. All I can say at this stage is that I've talked to promoters and I have talked directly with the management of, of uh, uh, well, the management of one band and uh, uh, in, in another instance, the band themselves. One of whom may be both. Well, you never know. I mean, Charlie Hawley might be teaching. <laughs> Thank you very much.